Hey everybody, it's Broken Champion. Welcome back to more Let's Play Cell Damage for the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we did the Smack Attack for Bohemian Raspberry. On this episode, we're going to do the Smack Attack for Shooting Stars. The first... What, first? Okay, the last, excuse me, the last, uh... Uh, smack attack level, first of all. This is going to be the very last smack attack in the entire Let's Play, so so savor it while you have the chance. If I can just catch Dominique. Jeez. Okay, that works. Uh, this is also the very last uh, level you haven't seen. This is the third and final... Ooh, my gun, bitch. Uh, third and final space level. And it is very, very spacey, except for the name. I'm very, very disappointed about the name of this level. We just came off of two really good, or, uh, okay, really bad, excuse me, puns. You know, one about a Tom Hanks movie, and then another uh, uh, over a uh, Queen song. And, and now you get to something as uncreative as shooting stars. That's like me going in and, and naming one of the Wild West levels, like Buckaroo, Texas Roadhouse, Plant, like, I don't know, something really, really bad. Anyway, but hey, look on the bright side, at least, I mean, and as corny as this game is, and we all know it's very, very corny and cheesy and cartoony, at least they didn't make a joke about Uranus. That's all I can say. And I would probably put money down that the developers were sitting there and they were like, we gotta make a, a joke about Uranus. It's like, we're, we're developing this game and we're probably in our 20s, 30s, 40s, but we're really like five years old, so we gotta make a joke about Uranus. But I'm, as far as I know, as far as I've seen, there are no Uranus jokes in this entire game, so let's be thankful about that. Now, to get to some of the features of this level. First of all, the very the very last weapon of this entire uh, game that you're going to see new is what I like to call the Hoover. It's this vacuum that works the same way as Cinder's special weapon. It's a vacuum, and it goes on the front of your vehicle. And when you use it, it sucks. And here, I'll show you. Oh, no, I won't, actually. She'll show you. What the... F Okay. okay, so that was the vacuum. Uh, it goes in the front of your vehicle, and what it does, you hit the A button to activate it, and it'll suck up whatever's in front of you. Ouch! It'll suck up whatever's in front of you, and you want to go for other players. It'll get you 10 points a suck, which sounds... Anyway, uh, it'll get you 10 points every time you use it successfully, and whatever um, weapon that your opponent has that gets sucked up, they will lose that weapon, so it's kind of kind of good there. The only thing that I can really see it uh, uh, not working well against is like if somebody had a baseball bat or an axe or something, and uh, they didn't, you know, they were just swinging it randomly. I don't think you're gonna win a fight uh, with a vacuum cleaner against a chainsaw. Just my opinion. That was a big very well could. I don't know. This game is wacky and zany and some other third word. That oh what the? Whoa! I got frozen in mid spring. That was kind of cool. Dude, I got what? Dude, oh wow! I got broken on. Ha! Huh, I said broken. I got shattered on the side of a, a mystery or a mystery box. A a uh, weapon box. Mystery box. I've been playing a lot of Nazi zombies lately. <laughs> Like, I've been trying to master my technique on 5, uh, on Black Ops, and I've been playing a lot of that online with a lot of stupid people lately. Anyway, okay, back to the features of this map. Um, so this is uh, a planet surrounded by rings, and the main thing you want to uh, focus on is the combat on the rings. If that's any strategy, if I could give you any strategy, that would be it. Because there are a lot of uh, little, like, island things on the sides, you know, and you can get there like via teleporter or those like speed ramps or whatever. But really, you know, they're not. It's it's not really worth it to go out there and kind of explore them because, uh, you know, they either contain some sort of hazard that isn't really worth exploring, or just a weapon box. I mean, there's really not anything 
worth going out there for. It's better to stay on the main landmass and uh, and take the fight to the other characters there. And that's kind of what uh, you need to focus on in this level because this level, I'm not going to say it's very big, but it's really expansive, if that makes any sense at all. I know that's pretty much the same word, but that's what I'm going to use. Um, it's It's very easy to get lost in this level, to say the least, and it's really uh, makes it really hard to find other characters to kill. So, you what we want to do, if I have to give you any strategy, is to stay on the mainland map and find other players that way, because rarely are you ever going to find anybody out there chill on one of those islands. Like, hey, what's cracking? You know, I'm out here on this island by myself. You know, lonely island. I just had sex. Anyway, all right. Uh, and also, as you've seen already, the planet in the middle has this gravitational pull. Get your ass back down here. Uh, the planet has a gravitational pull to where if you fall off the rings or whatever, you cannot die from that. Um, which can be a good and bad thing. Good in the sense that you'll never die from it, but bad because the gravity is so low it makes it slow to the point where it takes forever to get back uh, onto the rings. And you get knocked off so easily that it can, it can just take forever. See, watch this. I'm probably... Okay, no, never mind. See, when you go out there off the edges, there's a chance you can uh, go under the rings and then, like, bounce and then hit the, the planet in the middle and then come back onto the surface. See, and, and there's not really much else other than that. There are some teleporters around everywhere uh, that I guess can be sort of helpful. Helpful, Not in this game mode. In other game modes, uh, one teleporter is extremely helpful. But other than that, it's not really uh, worth your time to use. You know, and there are random like spaceships and crap everywhere littered about to, to give the ambiance. But this, the, the, the name of this level is just so... <laughs> disappointing in my opinion that, you know, I don't really care. Alright, we should be coming up on the end of uh, this game really soon. If I can find somebody to, to Mike Tyson to death. Oh yes, I just coined a new phrase. Mike Tyson. This is my Mike Tyson piece. Oh yeah, speaking of Mike Tyson, Hangover 2. I'm psyched for Hangover 2. That's going to come out really soon. A couple weeks, like three weeks. I'm psyched for Hangover 2. Just had to throw that out there. You know, I got past my uh, my Toy Story rant in the last video, so random movie fact, I'm excited for Hangover 2. Alright, I have three more points. Can I get them with these random throwing items? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's, no, I need one more. Dude! And now I'm... Oh no, I'm going to get it with the rocket. Scoop! Yes! I got it. Okay. Uh, there you are. I'm going to get you. Yes, I got it. And my victory pose is in midair. That's awesome. Okay, so we unlocked the Hoover Vacuum for later use, which is the last weapon in the entire game. I smoked everybody in my path. And that is the end of Smack Attack whatsoever. Now, on the next episode, we're either going to do Gate Rally or Flag Rally. And I'll go ahead and explain both of them real quick. Gate Rally, uh, you have to be the first, like it says right here, the first to drive through 20 gates to win. And this is where the game uh, institutes the a racing factor the most, because there are two gates on each level, and you have to alternate between the two, and it's the first person to get through uh, 20 gates total. Or, flag rally, uh, throughout the levels, there are going to be flags running around. And yes, I said running around. As you can see, they have feet, which is absolutely I, I just love that they added that feature. And the flags are going to be running around. Your objective is to be the first to get four flags and then bring them into the winner's circle, which is a, a big like post that you have to knock down uh, in order to win. But the thing is, I don't know which one I'm going to do next. I don't know if I want to do gate rally or flag rally. So what I'm going to throw out here is uh, the first person to comment on this video uh, and tell me which one they want to see, that's the one I'm going to do next.
okay? So until then, see you later, guys.